Hello, my name is Sydney, and today I will be discussing the questions pertaining to this week's reading. I hope you all enjoy. So the first question is, what are the top three concepts you find most relevant in your reading regarding the value of and in organizations? Why did you select these concepts? So the three concepts I selected was teamwork, I selected diversity, and respect. So the first one is teamwork. I think teamwork is extremely important because um, not only does it bring efficiency and productivity, but it motivates people. Um, so sometimes when we're working alone in individual groups, we need that last piece of motivation. And I think having team members by your side can really help motivate you to finish the job done and um, give you that kind of that motivation that you need to finish. Um, efficiency and productivity, I think a lot of organizations, big corporations, need their employees to get the job done efficiently, but in a fast pace. And I think when you have team members, you can split up the projects or whatever you're working on, and it will help you get the job done quicker and efficient. And lastly, it brings different perspectives, and you can also get really good feedback. So sometimes when we're working by ourselves, we only have one perspective, and we need people to you know, give us more information, or we need our team members to give us ideas. And if we have questions, they can also give us feedback. So I think teamwork is extremely important, and um, I think many of us have actually experienced teamwork. Maybe in undergrad, where we were put into group projects, even in grad school, a lot of um, our teachers sometimes want us to work online in group projects, and I think this practices teamwork for the future. Second is diversity. I think diversity is probably one of the most important ones that I wrote down. Um, it doesn't really have to just include ethnicity, but it, it can include sex, it can include religion, and age, pretty much anything. And like I mentioned in my discussion board one, I have lived overseas for pretty much my whole life and I've experienced different types of cultures and diverse people. And I think it's extremely, extremely important that we incorporate that in our organizations today. Um, mainly, mainly because it can increase globalization. Um, there's a lot of organizations that have sub-organizations in different countries. So for example, if you had employees that knew Japanese and you had a sub company in Japan, they can be a liaison between your organization and the organization in Japan and they can increase awareness about your organization and your brand. And we're also a melting pot. The US is a melting pot. We have people from all over the world. So I think it's just natural that we have diverse people in our organizations. The second question is what value does social media have as it relates to communication and organization. Um, so like the video mentioned, we had a couple YouTube videos that this week that I actually watched and they were really, really interesting. And one of them, I wrote the quote down. It said 93% of marketers use social media for business. And this is really important because one, it gets their name out there. So when you're using social media, you can tweet, you can use hashtags, you can do all these sorts of things to get your name out there. And once you're brand or organization is stable, more people will start to follow your organization. So social media is important in that way. Um, I also think it provides services. So I was on Twitter the other day before I was tweeting and I saw that Starbucks had over, I think, 11 million followers. So they already had a stable following and they provided services. So if someone had a problem, for example, they would tweet them, you know, we're so sorry about that. Um, please do this and this and this and we will fix the problem. Or they will show their new innovation. So if they had a new drink coming out, they would post a picture of that using a hashtag like Starbucks new Frappuccino. And once you click the hashtag, they can see what that was about and more people could follow. So I think social media is just extremely important. And um, it's just a great communication between organizations and um, other people that want to follow them. So I think it's really good. Third, why are you required to explore social media in this course? Um, I think social media is just a big part of communications. We are going to be in the profession of communication in the future. And it's pretty imperative that we continue to use technology and learn these types of things to go into the field that we're going to go into. So I think it's important that we're learning to tweet, um, we're following different organizations to know what they're up to, um, we're using hashtags. I just think it's important because a lot of organizations also hire people specifically for social media. So some people will be like a social media manager. So they will be in charge of tweeting, they'll be in charge of doing hashtags, um, promoting events, um, 
just everything. So once you know how to do social media and you're using technology, you'll be perfect for the job. And I think it's just great that we're learning this in this class. And this is also the first class that I've ever actively used a social media account um, like Twitter. I've never really used Twitter before and I think it's really interesting seeing everyone's tweets and tweeting back and forth. And fourth, what are the consequences of social media use in, for organizations, positive and negatives? So I think there's a couple of positives and a couple of negatives for social media. So one of the positives is it boosts organizations' awareness. So once organizations continue to use social media, more people will continue to follow them and that will boost their awareness and they can gain not only more followers, but their organization will grow in numbers. So I think that's really important. I also think it's important to reach different demographics. So different social media platforms can be used for different demographics. For example, if an organization wanted to lean more towards people, for example, in their late 40s, they might create a Facebook account because Facebook can be used not necessarily for older people for everyone, but it's pertaining to older people. Or if they wanted to, you know, get to the younger side of things, they could use Instagram. Um, or a Snapchat, which is very, very up and coming with um, y the younger generation. So I think it's they can use pretty much um, whatever they want to pertain to that demographic. And that was also mentioned in the YouTube videos. Um, there were different percentages of demographics that use different social media platforms. And I also think it's cool because they can share different forms of media. So I know now that Facebook and Instagram has like Instagram Live and Facebook Live. Um, you can share photos, you can share videos, you can tweet. So you can do so much in that one platform, which is really interesting. Now the negatives, I have a couple as well. Um, one, it's not as authentic as I was probably three or four years ago because everyone and every organization has social media. It's hard for social media um, or organizations in social media to stand out. Sorry, the lights just went out. Sorry. Um, but it's hard for organizations to stand out because everyone has the same form of media. So the organizations have to find ways to make their organization stand out and to continue to increase their following. And lastly, as we all know, once you post something on social media, you cannot delete it. Um, so I think there have been issues in the past where organizations have tweeted things and posted things and it has backfired on them because people catch on quickly. And that's a negative when you have so many followers. People can screenshot, people can um, take photos of what you posted. So organizations have to be very careful about their mistakes and they need to lay out things that they should be posting on social media and things that they shouldn't be posting on social media. And I think once they do that, they'll be good for the long run. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below what you guys think and I will see you guys next time.